What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're checking out a free extension that helps you mirror objects in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So just as a reminder, we are having our 3D modeling workshop later today inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. So in that workshop, we're gonna be modeling a building from start to finish. So we're gonna model out the site work and a road, and then we're also going to model out the actual building itself. So um, this is something that's designed to really help you follow along and really understand that full process of getting something like that set up. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. I'd love to see you in that uh, workshop later on today. But in today's video, we're going to talk about a tool that allows you to quickly mirror objects in SketchUp. It's called TIG Mirror. You can download it by going to the Sketchucation plugin store and um, looking for TIG Mirror. And it's a pretty simple extension. Um, basically what it's going to do is it's going to give you the ability to mirror objects based on one point, a line, or a plane. And so the way it's going to work is it wants you to start by selecting the objects you want to mirror. In this case, we're going to select this object right here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the mirror button. And so notice how what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to start by clicking a point. And so then you can either hit the enter key to mirror along that point, or you can set a second and a third point in order to mirror things. So let's actually do this. Let's make three copies of this right here. So. There we go. So for the first one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select it. We're gonna select our first point and hit the enter key. And so it's gonna ask us if we wanna erase our original selection. My answer is going to be no in this case. But notice how what that did is that mirrored this directly across that corner point right here. Now to me, you're rarely going to use that function. You're usually gonna to wanna to give this a little bit more precision. So this time, let's run the tool, but this time let's select two points, right? So I'm gonna select a point here, and a point here. And then I'm gonna hit the enter key. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna mirror that across this line right here. And so notice how it doesn't just have to be a line. So for example, if I was to select this and select two points like this, so from this corner to this corner and hit the enter key, notice how it's gonna mirror this across that line right here. And again, you could do it the other way too. So if I wanted to select this, I could, I could click this corner and this corner and hit the enter key. And notice how that's gonna mirror it across that line right there. That's another way that you can do this. However, the most precise way is going to be by giving this three points. So if I select this and I click one point here, one point here, and one point here, I've basically given it a plane to mirror across. And notice how when I give it a plane to mirror across, it gives me this complete shape right here. So this can be a really powerful tool for um, saving you work because you would only have to model half of this and not the other half right here. And so this is also going to work on multiple different objects. So if I select these objects right here and run this, so if I was to pick one, two, three points right here, notice how it's going to mirror all of the objects that I had selected. So you can use this to select multiple different objects and mirror them across a plane like this. And so this will also work on things like angles. So let's say you had like this mitered board right here and we wanted to mirror across this board. Well, I could just pick points on this board right here and it's gonna mirror this across this surface. And so for something like this, that's pretty simple. However, if you wanted to do something a little more complex like this hip roof right here, what you would do, and I'm gonna move this over just a little bit more. So we're gonna move this over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these and select all of these boards. And basically we want to select them and rotate them or mirror them across this board right here. So what we can do is we can select the central point of this board. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna find the central point here. And then I'm gonna find the central point of this board right here. And then finally, and let's rotate this this way so you can see it. I'm just gonna click the bottom point of this board right here. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna mirror this across this corner. And you can see how this is very, this was very effective at allowing us to mirror our framing around this corner just like this. So this is a great free mirroring tool for SketchUp. I will link to it in the notes down below, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought, how you're using mirror tools inside of SketchUp. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you are interested in checking out our live modeling workshop later today, you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course, or I will be posting a replay later if you want to get in and watch it later. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.